There are a few shows which may run even when we are long gone in our graves. Some of them could be Grey's Anatomy and NCIS. For the latter, it may be the longest running American police procedural television series and it's come back for the 20th time. So what's cooking on the show? In this video, we'll talk about the potential return of long-term actor Alden Parker to the NCIS universe. First up, can fans expect a possible Alden Parker return? Agent Alden Parker, played by the talented Gary Cole, was welcomed into the NCIS universe last year to take the helm from veteran agent Leroy Gibbs. He's been amazing to watch in season 19, and he's pretty much kept things going as a senior agent. But the massive cliffhanger left at the end of the previous season shocked the audience. Special agent Alden Parker left his ex-wife Vivian Kolchak after she was kidnapped and he was framed for murder. But is this really the end of agent Alden Parker? Fans are worried that his character was short-lived, but showrunners are pointing to something completely different. Parker's fate in season 20 hung in the the void of uncertainty after the events of season 19. He had filled the leadership role so effortlessly that everything may fall apart without him. Fortunately, fans have noticed that Vivian may be playing games with Parker after all, as she was seen sending a mysterious text to someone. It read, It's done. I have him. So this means that the show isn't done with him, and his arc might see a good time in the limelight in the coming season. Showrunner D. Binder shared with TV Insider that Vivian's intentions are a big mystery, and the territory is worth exploring. Fans Fans are also speculating that Parker's ex-wife may be working with The Raven, which may potentially put his life in danger. Steven mentioned that while he can't say much about it, they want to explore this new territory with Parker and his ex-wife, so the show may not be done with him yet. Up next, if Alden Parker does return, where will his character stand? Fans have been wary of Special Agent Parker's future, but NCIS showrunners have reassured fans that Alden Parker isn't going anywhere. What the season 19 finale does is that it puts Parker in the center of things as Vivian's ulterior motives may come to light in the new season. Some serious trouble may be waiting for Alden Parker, and showrunner Steven has assured fans that Parker will be taking on the commanding role in the upcoming NCIS Season 20. Steven D. Binder told TV Insider that Alden isn't just a boss, he's their boss, and the audience wants to see him step into the leadership role in the next season. Binder added that Alden's first season was just his introduction to the show, the team, and the things he'd have to deal with. The audience was only getting to know him, and his role was far more comfortable than it'll be in season 20. He admitted that Parker would ease into the leading role, and we'll see him being more comfortable with taking charge and bringing down his authority on the team. While Agent Parker hasn't been forceful about his position, Steven thinks that they're going to give him the reins a little more, and he'll be calling the shots. With the mantle passing on to Agent Alden Parker, fans still wonder if there's still a place for gifts, but it appears the showrunners don't have any plans for Mark Hammond's return as they think that his character had the fitting send-off he deserved. But in a recent interview, Stevens admitted in an interview that the fans should never count Leroy Jethro Gibbs out. So, surprises! Coming up, what can fans expect from NCIS Season 20? Just when we think that NCIS showrunners can do no more, they come up with another season with better characters and stories. Season 20 is no exception, as fans are expecting it to bang on. So, what can potentially happen? For Season 20, showrunners have repeatedly expressed that the new season will focus more on the characters. We'll get even more insight into the lives with the agents, and most episodes will be a traditional case style. For instance, Steven teased that he'll be seeing some familiar faces returning for the 20th round. According to Binder, the audience will get to see Vivian, Tobias Fresnel, Ducky, and Dr. Grace Canfalone. He also hinted that some family members of the characters would also be joining the scene, so it'll be a very personal affair. One thing that fans would be excited to see would be Agent McGee's new role as a father. Binder said in an interview that season 20 would shed a special light on his fatherly role, and it would be fun to see where he fits in that. The showrunner also pointed to a potential relationship between Jimmy and Knight and assured fans that the relationship would be different. Since Taurus and Bishop's and Ziva and Tony's relationship had an air of mystery, Steven thinks that the audience will likely see a more direct path for these two and wouldn't have to go through a will-they-won't-they they dynamic. Binder told TV Line that the show has gone down that road before and it's best if the relationships on the show play out more realistically. As for other surprises on the show, he did tease a little bit about Gibbs. Mark Harmon's famous character is gone from the show, but there's always a high demand to see him back. We don't want the fans to bet on anything, but it's NCIS we're talking about. Now, in related news. Next up, things are still going strong in the NCIS universe. The NCIS universe has been running long and smooth, with long-standing shows still dominating the numbers on television. Besides NCIS returning for another season, we're also hearing news of an exciting crossover between NCIS Los Angeles, NCIS, and NCIS Hawaii that's in development. 
development. People love a nice crossover, and these are events that set the tone for these shows. The three-way crossover sounds amazing, but it's always a challenge for the team to pull it off because, according to Binder, NCIS Los Angeles is a bit easier because the spinoff and the original are both down the street. As for Hawaii, it requires agents to at least a day to travel back and forth, so they have to write off characters for at least one or two episodes. But reports say that the event is penciled in, so we can hope for the best. Entertainment Weekly recently reported that the crossover has been set to air in January 2023, so it'll be a nice build-up till then. Sources also revealed that the crossover would focus on the NCIS agents and their attempt to capture a hitman. As for NCIS Los Angeles, its 14th season will be premiering on October 23rd, and in its first episode, the agents will try to bring down a group of murderers known as the Body Snatchers. Following that, NCIS hits the jackpot with its latest season. We may think that shows with over 10 or 15 seasons would soon lose their viewership, but it turns out that with age, just keeps getting better and better. Despite having an okay start to the season, the show reversed the rating trend and bagged the best audience of the season with the newest episode. The viewership rose to a whopping 6.71 million, and even though The Undisputed King was Monday Night Football, NCIS didn't do badly for a show that's been running for over two decades. The viewership numbers have taken a dip, specifically due to a large number of audiences watching shows via streaming, but the show is hanging on. Stats show that there's a dip of over 30% compared to season 19 because last year's episodes were more focused on Gibbs' fate. So wouldn't it be swell to bring him back again to up the numbers? But whether or not NCIS returns for another round, it's still in the game and enjoying a solid viewership. And finally, why are fans loving NCIS season 20, episode 3? It's proven, whenever a fan favorite character returns to the show after a long hiatus, the audience instantly falls for it. As for NCIS season 20, the latest episode is brought back a very lovable character, and it's none other than Dr. Grace Canfalone. In the episode Unearth, the good therapist will be returning, but that's not the only reason fans are calling the episode a diamond in the trough. The uncommon consensus is that Unearth utilized all the characters in the best way, and the subject matter was quite captivating. During a dark night in Afghanistan, a group of men is digging and searching for treasure. They are the Vonner military contractors, and 18 months later, one of them turns up dead among the tombstones in Arlington National Cemetery. On the other hand, Taurus is having a session with Dr. Grace, which goes ugly. As the episode moves on, it looks like both Taurus and Dr. Grace's lives are in danger, and we won't be revealing any more because, spoilers, why don't we let people enjoy the show on their own? That's a wrap for this video. Which story arc would you prefer NCIS Season 20 should definitely address? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.